Hello everyone, welcome to TechTed.com. So this is our first, technically first lecture because earlier was the introduction of course. In this video, we will try to understand the basics around operating system. So let's start with understanding what is operating system. Okay. Operating system means different different things to different users. So if I give you an example, uh, operating system is just a platform provider for a person who uses computer system just for, for browsing internet, right? So this is a platform, this is a platform over which his browser runs, okay? And then he can access internet, right? So it, it acts as a platform. Similarly, and for another user, uh, if I take example of uh, application programmer, so for an application programmer, operating system is again a platform on which the person can write and compile his code. Okay, so for him, operating system is a platform to code, right? Now, similarly, for a plant manager, for a plant manager, operating system is something which helps him to manage manage the plant okay so for plant manager it is a software which helps in management so it is a resource manager so basically let's list down operating system does the role of different different things or does the job of different different uh, kind for different different users so for some person it acts as a resource manager operating system also acts as a controller so basically program controller so as we mentioned operating system does different different things for different different users right so if we try to accumulate all the things this is a abstract view abstract view of operating system okay now if I if somebody asks you what is operating system then what should be your answer so your answer would be operating system is a set of software which helps in achieving the efficient or intended use of computer system right so you for example you 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 buy a operate uh, computer system that's a laptop and you bring it to your home okay and then you install some operating system right so before you install it's a it's just a hardware piece of hardware you you are not able to use it right so then you install windows okay and then your application programs like vlc browser like chrome okay etc etc so now it becomes this piece of hardware becomes usable so it means that this is the first thing i have to do when i buy a new system it means that this windows or this linux or this operating system is helping me to do the intended use of this computer system this hardware okay so if this hardware is intended to do uh, play music or watch video or uh, play video game then this is at least has to be there first okay so it will help me to do the intended use of this system so what is operating system operating system is set of softwares which helps us to achieve the intended use of this computer system and what is the abstract view of operating system it is a resource manager a program controller it simplifies the application development by providing a platform and overall it acts like a government to manage the resource of this this computer system so this is users abstract view okay what is operating system designers abstract view so by gathering the users abstract view operating system designers builds a or creates a abstract view or basic architecture of operating system so let's uh, first draw the abstract view of uh, operating system for operating system designer
So basically, as a designer, I got these are the requirement of apps or requirement of the user because these are the abstract view which which is defined by user. Okay, so at least these are the requirement which has to be fulfilled. So what what I will understand that if this is the hardware which is the lowest layer, then I need to have some kind of layer which will interact with the hardware and then to simplify the communication I'll have another layer and this would be the final layer where user programs will be presiding. So this is user and this is non-kernel and this is kernel okay kernel interacts with the hardware only kernel can interact with the hardware okay so I'll, I'll let's so only kernel can interact with the hardware and hardware interact with the kernel okay this non kernel application interact with kernel so if uh, let's start with understanding what is kernel so kernel is core of operating system which interacts with the hardware as you can see right it is the lowest layer of this abstract view of designer so this kernel interacts with hardware okay and basically all this uh, the hardware instructions and all has to be processed by kernel right so this is very lower level program which interacts with the hardware then how user program interacts so user program first ask for services for this non kernel layer then non kernel layer ask for services to this kernel layer and then kernel layer interact with hardware right so this is how communication goes okay so as you can see here each lower layer is working as a facility provider to this higher layer right so for example here this this kernel kernel is working as a facility provider for this non kernel and non kernel is working as a facility provider for this users this user layer right and each layer takes an abstract view of this designers view okay so this is the basic architecture or abstract view now different different books you will see different different things are there uh, some some books have uh, divided these things in multiple layers but this is the basic thing you should understand okay now one important question regarding operating system is that what is the goal of operating system so what is the goal of operating system so we have two things here one is efficiency okay and some people say it is convenience so efficiency and convenience now there is a confusion so if I ask you what is the goal of operating system for you so now if you are watching this video as a as a first year student you may think that this is a this is something which has to be with convenience because operating system should be so easy to use right but if you are a server administrator then you will say come on it has to be efficiency because operating system has to use this resource or manage this resource very efficiently right so this is a matter of discussion now if somebody asks you your answer should be like this that the goal of operating system depends on the use of operating system okay so basically if you are going to use this efficiency or use this operating system as server then for you the important goal should be efficiency but if you are going to use this as a personal computer and some non-technical user is going to use then convenience is important okay so a long discussion thread you can find out about this so the overall idea is or if you see the example uh, windows covered the entire market in early days where Linux was so behind so now Linux with Ubuntu is growing and capturing the market because 
earlier Linux was only focusing on efficiency but user convenience is very important because user is going to use this operating system right so that's why because Windows was very convenient to use it captured the market but now Linux is also growing if nowadays like I use Ubuntu it's very very good and very easy to use okay and now you have a lot of documentation so so these things are uh, this efficiency and convenience are very much related to the use of operating system okay and uh, these are you know uh, very much related because when you focus on convenience so if when you focus on convenience efficiency will go down so this thing you can check with a program so write a program where let's say your program is processing 1 million lines okay your program is processing 1 million lines of code of a file 1 million lines let's say there are 1 million lines in a file and your program is processing so you write two version of program this is let's say p1 and you write another version which is p2 right what you do in p1 is after processing each line of this file which has this 1 million lines you print a give a print statement that this line is processed and here you don't give any print statement because this print statement involves interface every, after processing each line the control has to go to the desktop and print so that's why when interface is engaged it reduces the efficiency you will say the time which take uh, which is taken by this program is much much higher than this program so it means that whenever efficiency or whenever convenience is involved it does a lot of input output to the user interface okay and that's why performance goes down whenever interface is involved performance will be lesser but in case when efficiency matters we involve the interface less for example uh, if you consider two examples so uh, one is mkdir so so this will mkdir and then some name will create your directory but if you want to do it in a convenient way for example on windows you will do a right click and then from options you will choose new folder right so there once this thing is involved interface is involved whatever you have chosen that has to be converted to finally this command right and then, then this command to instruction and then hardware will do the part okay so this extra phase extra layer comes when convenience is there okay and which reduces the efficiency so your answer of goals of operating system the what is the primary thing whether convenience or efficiency or which is more important you will say it depends you will say it depends on the use of operating system that what is the intended use of the system okay so well so this is all about this lecture where in which we have understood that operating system is a resource manager i mean this is the abstract view of user where it works as a resource manager program controller and gives simplify the development of application overall overall it acts like a government and these are the three abstract layer of designers view so designers look at uh, the operating system as this is the three layers which interacts with the hardware kernel is at the lowest level so kernel is heart or core of the operating system which interacts with the hardware right so i hope you understand everything if you have any doubt you can go to the doubt section on tector.com and ask your doubt and make sure you subscribe to our channel and share this video thanks for watching